it's quite safe of you. This is the inevitable versus. This is the one that we've all been talking about all year. Disney Infinity versus Lego Dimensions versus Skylander Superchargers. Whoa! All the toys to life are coming to battle. Let's get to it, because we've got a lot to cover here. Yeah. Visuals, which one looks the best? You know that I'm not big on this visual thing. Honestly, yeah. I enjoyed playing Skylanders on the Wii U, and I didn't really care that the visuals didn't match up okay. on the PS4. Then, the Skylanders visuals definitely look better on the PS4 For or sure. Xbox One. I know, yeah. but I mean, uh, it, that's so hard to decide, and I feel like it's not going to be a deciding factor for families out there either. Right, okay. Right, but I I'm, I guess I'm going to go with Lego, because I like the way the Lego look, not only on my TV, but in my living room, okay. once I put it all together. Okay, I think I'm to go with Disney Infinity uh, once again because I like the characters, the figures, and when I'm taking down AT-ATs, you know, on Hoth in Disney Infinity, I'm like, this is pretty fantastic. This is a pretty fun recreation of gaming I've always wanted to do. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think it's Disney that takes it from all me. All right, well, I'm including toys in this, so yeah. Lego takes the cake. Okay, so we're not matching on this one. Okay. But what's the next one? Okay, so we're not matching, so we've got one vote for Disney, one vote for Lego. Yeah. Let's move on to audio and the sound department for these three games. Disney Infinity, of course, has some authentic Disney uh, cast members from yeah. some of their properties in here. You, you don't get Mark Hamill, and you don't get Harrison Ford and Carrie Fisher, but there are some other Disney voices that we've known and loved populating some of the characters that we know and love throughout the thing. Lego spent a ton of money they got Michael J. Fox in here. They got Dan Castellaneta to play Homer. They got, you know, lots of the voice cast that we know and love. Allison Brie is playing Unikitty. And why are there two Batmans? Batmen. Batmen? There aren't. There's only one Batman. I feel like I have to give it to the Disney Infinity version okay. for this reason. It plays on my nostalgia. It plays on my childhood so much. Yes. And every time you hear these songs and just you get reminded of something happy that happened to you in your life or something when you're discovering a Disney movie for the first time and you get that with this game. Yeah. My goodness! There is magic in Lego as well, but you can also see the corporate machinations a little bit for more sure. than you can in the Disney stuff. They've yeah. disguised that a little bit more, but I'm going to give it to Lego just because the real money was spent. So we've got two Lego. Uh, we've got two Lego and, and two, two Disney. Disney. Oh, Skylander's getting left in the dust. It is so far. Let's talk about gameplay, the most important element here cool. in our verses. Skylanders versus Disney versus Lego. What do you think? I feel like I'm not going to give a mercy point to Skylanders here because. They, they've always had great gameplay. They've, they've always, they, they understand they it. They created this category. They know how it works. They did. They created this category. Yes. And everybody else that came on board afterward is looking to them and yeah. seeing what they've done. I think that Disney Infinity has made huge strides, huge strides this t this time around with yeah. 3.0 yeah. to make a better game. And they have done that for sure. Are they at Skylanders level? Not quite yet, but it's close enough. Like, it's really close. But even Lego, oh my God, Lego is so good too. Yeah. This is so tough. I know, it is. And I think there's a couple of factors at play here you kind of have to pick the characters that you like first of all and the toy designs that you like second of all I think Lego's done some really great stuff so that you're taking the toys off and playing with them and then putting them back on like more than the other games yeah. and that I think suggests toy to life a little bit more than the other no ones. No way Skylanders has toy to life more than any of the other well, ones because, because it has the, the car cost. the vehicle yeah. now that you can actually take off the platform and move it around the living room if you want to that is that is toys to life for me. Well here's what's really significant for me out of all three of them I just love the toys and Disney Infinity the sure. most. The sculpts are incredible. They're the ones that I will display. And I love that there's a uniformity across all of these different characters and brands, but they all sort of coexist in this really great aesthetic way. For sure, the figures that you could take the most pride in owning are the Disney Infinity yeah. figures. So yes. I, for that reason, I want to give it to Disney Infinity. For gameplay though, I feel like it has to go to Skylanders. Really? Well, yeah. I mean, I'm going to throw this though. The okay. Disney Infinity is the only one that allows you to build levels and down download other levels and has that whole customizational hook and the ability for Disney themselves to kind of throw in extra scenarios for you to play. Like you can buy the Tron figures and play a whole Tron level and yeah. stuff. You know, that's pretty amazing. What's your vote though for gameplay? I think it's Disney because of that okay. customization option and that ability for new stuff to yeah. keep floating into the game all that's the time. That's a fair vote. So yeah. really the winner here is Disney Infinity 3.0. Yeah. Either way, whatever you choose, just be prepared to fork out a lot of dough. dough. <laughs> but also you're going to get unbelievable fun. Yeah. You know, these are tremendous games and bravo to everybody to, that worked on them because they, they didn't drop the ball. You know, they, these really could have been lame, but they're all great. We have no more space in our living rooms. No.